We got Micah Parsons. We got Micah Parsons. We got Micah Parsons. We got Micah Parsons. I do a conga line, but the format is, uh, is, uh, not. I actually should have set my, I should have set my place so like, so I could do a conga line just walking right in. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm too lazy to change my mind now. So, before I begin to talk about what happened yesterday, low my high my of kindness. My low. You know what? My low can be summed up in one word. Rain. Lots and lots and lots of rain. Seriously, like, there was a time where if you were out for, like, even, now, keep in mind, I have really short hair, so, of course, this would sort of happen to me. But if you, if you have, like, hair like mine, and you're out in the rain for, this was, like, really harsh rain. Like, for, like, a minute, minute and a half, you were soaked. Like, completely and utterly soaked. It was just awful. And, like, oh, man. And the sad part is, the weather was surprisingly okay. I mean, temperature-wise, I mean, it was like 52 or something. But, again, because of the rain, it's more like in the low 40s. So, that was not fun. But, you know, I guess it kind of makes sense. This this is the final day in April. I want to make one thing clear. April flew by like that. And we're already like... And we got the rain we got yesterday. Well... You know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. We're gonna, we better have a lot of flowers, okay? Like, I've never be seen flowers that are like from sea to shiny sea with the rain we had. I'm not even kidding. Like, in the last several weeks, when we had rain, we really had rain. And again, we better be getting some May flowers, some very pretty May flowers. And they better be pretty. Not just flowers, they better be pretty too. Actually, all flowers are pretty in, in their own way. But regardless, like, we better be getting lots of flowers, okay? I want flowers. I get flowers. No one ever gives the giant man flowers. And I don't know why. I have needs too, you know. Anyway, um... Oh, it's my high. Well, if that dance I did at the beginning of the video is any indication, I'm pretty happy with my team's draft pick. So, I'll use that as a high. And not to mention, there was a new episode of Hot Ones yesterday. Uh, Matty Matheson and uh, Benny Bianco, who I'll get into that momentarily. And um, my act of kindness was... Gosh, what was my head of dryness? Um. Oh, right. I actually uh, did one quick errand for my father. Nothing strenuous or, you know, stressful. But it's something I had to do. And, you know, I did it. So, it's cool. Anyway. Feeling a lot better from yesterday. That being said, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. It is Friday morning. Actually, this is incredibly early for me. Seriously, it's not even 6 a.m. yet. It is not even 6 a.m. It's like 10... It's, all right, oh, it just turned 5.51. Okay, I'm looking at the computer. It's like 5.51 right now. So, yeah, it's not even 6 a.m. And I just got right awake and wide awake. It just started... You know, doing stuff around my apartment. I'll you know, clean up a little bit, do a bit of a uh, meal prep for tonight. My goal for tonight is I really want to try and recreate a sub. Like, remember I told you guys I had that really good sub a week ago? The uh, All American from the Nears. It had like roast beef, ham, turkey. I also got mine with grilled mushrooms, peppers, and onions. Um, tomatoes. The uh, last well, tomatoes weren't grilled, obviously. Mayo. Horseradish, Dijon, honey mustard, and, like, Italian dressing. I want to try and recreate that sub. I mean, yeah, I could always sort of, you know, get it. 
At the same time, though, it just seems like a lot of work. I just, I mean, where am I going to find, like, the deli meat? I mean, I do have, I should do with some ham, I guess. I don't know. I'll, I'll think of something right there, but I'll, I'll try, like, something. I don't know. But, yeah, that's sort of like, um, one of these days I really want to try and recreate that sub. Or at least form it into a sandwich because if I ever try and make a sub, the bread completely falls apart on me. And, like, I want to get it toasted, too, so that makes it even more difficult because, you know, crumbly bread sort of, you know, breaks and whatever. So, uh, that's not good. But, uh, what is good is when, you know, you know, this afternoon, I'm going to be Rita's today. It's going to be awesome. Considering what happened earlier this week, I could use a little bit of uh, Rita's. Not going to lie. Um, let's see. What else? You know, my brother, my sister-in-law, my mother, my father are all going to a, uh, yeah, uh, Jack and Jill wedding shower for my brother's brother-in-law. So I guess, does that make it my brother-in-law too? I don't know. But, uh, to, um, the lovely couple that will be having their bridal shower, their Jack and Jill wedding shower this weekend, my heartfelt congratulations. This video is, uh, you know, it's okay to, uh, you guys and really anyone who's having a Jack and Jill wedding shower this weekend. Or any sort of jack and, or any sort of wedding shower at all. I mean, for those of you, I mean, I explained this yesterday, but if you don't know what a jack and jill wedding shower is, basically it's like a bridal shower, but both the bride and the groom are involved. You know, Jack being the groom and Jill being the bride, obviously. And, I guess you can talk a little bit about what my brother had. Oh, but before I do, um, Hot Ones yesterday. It was an episode of Truth or Dad with Manny Matheson making his second appearance in Hot Ones lore. I guess. Actually, Manny Mountain's episode was great. And uh, Ben and Bianco made his first appearance. And they were both completely dying from the last dab. It was quite a spectacle. Uh, truth or dab, she'd be a harsh mistress. I mean, if I was ever in truth or dab, I would definitely try and be honest. But if involved, I mean, if I want to be honest, yeah, I'll tell the truth. But if it's, but I'll do what everyone else does. And if, if it's for like, you know, ratting someone out or saying someone's better than another, yeah, you know, I'll go for the wing. Why not? I mean, my conscience would probably tell me to do it anyway. Although, I, although with my luck, I'd probably be stupid enough to tell the truth all the way to the very end. And then I'd be like, you know, I need to pay for telling the truth. You know what? I'm having all three wings at once. That would so be me. I'd be completely destroyed, but it'd be so me. Um, ah, good grief. That was, that was a fun episode yesterday. Also, Totally Not Mark did his, uh, uh part two of his, uh, blind review of a uh, Hunter Hunter, which, again, I've sort of followed the series here and there. If anything, Totally Not Mark is sort of recapping me on a lot of stuff, which, yeah, it was nice. Um, but right, my, uh, brother's Jack and Jill wedding shower. Um, well, I mentioned this yesterday, but it took place in Boston. Specifically at this, like, one really fancy, like, hotel. Because my brother and his wife met at Boston College. Actually, where we were wasn't down the road from Boston College. So, it wasn't very far from Boston College. So, there you go. Um... We each had our own dish to pick out. I'll be honest, I completely forgot what I ordered that day. I know for a fact it wasn't anything beef related to my knowledge. I think the options were like a quiche, some sort of fish, or chicken. I wound up going with the chicken, obviously. I mean, again, I am completely blanking out on what that menu was, for sure. I mean, I do remember a little bit of the, um, dessert sort of, sort of place. There was also an open bar too, which I don't really drink, but you know, can't deny free soda when it's within your midst, now can you? Um, was it open bar? I think it was open bar. 
I don't remember paying anything for for soda, so yeah, okay, why not? Um, um, some of the uh, desserts I remember having were uh, they had like they were all, there was all like really like tiny sort of dessert like foods like uh, miniature cookies. Um, surprisingly, there weren't any macarons. If only we knew then what we knew now. Peas macarons would be a household name. Anyway, um, by now, anyway. Anyway, um, they had, um, flourless, uh, chocolate cakes. Also, sort of mini. Which, you know, is nice, because, you know, f no flour means no gluten. If, uh, any of you guys, uh, live that lifestyle, God bless you, you know. I mean, let's, actually, who am I kidding? Vegetables are gluten-free, to my knowledge. I think. I mean... Pretty sure carrots are gluten free. Pretty sure beef is gluten free. Pretty sure, yeah, lots of so yeah, I, I, I love eating gluten free foods. Sure, I mean, you kind of gotta tell me if it has gluten or not. Otherwise, I'm not going to know. But you know, I mean, I would never live that lifestyle because you know gluten is so sweet and delicious. I don't know what to tell you. Ah. Uh, Although, at some point, I thought about maybe doing a crazy sort of video where, like, I don't eat, like, a certain type of food for, like, a day or something. I don't want to do that, though. That's way too much work. I really don't even know how to edit. And now that I think about it, I am kind of, uh, it has been a while since I've done a mom food chronicle. I would actually do it tomorrow if it weren't for, you know, the class and session video. Maybe I can squeeze both in there. There actually is one mom food chronicle I've always really wanted to talk about. Because it would require... Because it's actually... It's no kidding. One of the only mom food chronicles I could legit demonstrate in showing you how to make it. I'm not even kidding. Like, on camera. Like, I'd set the camera up and... You know, everything would be... Where... Everything would be like where it was. And stuff. I guess. Um... Anyway, although that would make for an interesting, um, that should be a video I'll do at some point. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's kind of hard to really think about what, um, what I could potentially do after the class and session videos are over. I mean, tomorrow I'm going to be talking about environmental studies, for sure. That's going to be... That's going to be the class and session video tomorrow. Because that was the science class that I took at Trinity Pauling. And the last science class I took in my high school career. So, a uh, little fun fact for you there. So, look forward to that tomorrow. Um, nothing really going on at all, to my knowledge. Um... I mean, the drought is still going on this weekend. Can't wait to, can't wait to watch that as this weekend goes on. That'll be fun. The season two finale of Amphibia is this weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Although, I want to tell, you know, I'm going to say this on camera right now so I can look back on this moment when the time comes and say, oh yeah, I did say that, didn't I? And that is the following. I, no matter what happens at the season two finale of Amphibia, regardless of whether it's an outcome that I would like to see or not like to see, I will still love the show. I will not make the same mistake I made with Avatar The Last Airbender. And I will most certainly, you know, count down the probably many, many days until we get to season three. I mean, there's going to be a season three. It was slated to have three seasons at least. So, season two is, you know, finale tomorrow, and, you know, season three comes whenever. Although, let's say for the sake of argument that Amphibia comes as soon as this summer. Like, much like it did last summer. Like, late summer, late July, early August of 2020, like last year was. We could be looking, literally a year from now, 
I could be talking about the series finale as a whole. Although that's if we get season three right out the get-go, which I'm sure we won't. If anything, we'll probably get like 10 episodes per year for the next two years, which it'll... I mean, I really hope they don't do that just simply because that's what Avatar did. Like, as soon as like the Day of Black Sun episode hit, we had to wait like a whole nother year for the actual finale, a year and change for the finale. And like, guys, just end the series already. You clearly have it all done just trying to make money off us. Oh yeah, right, it's Disney. They've got to have money. Like, favorite, share, subscribe button, follow me on social media, I'm trying to get on YouTube. I'm very helping this video for all of you guys watching, don't forget, we'll be a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Remember, if you guys want to talk to channel, always be here, to learn and hear, always be back, take care, and make good choices. Now, if you excuse me, I have to keep dancing some more. We got Micah Parsons, we got Micah Parsons, we got Micah Parsons, we got Micah Parsons.